Hi guys, it's Steady Eddie here. It's 2 p.m. on Tuesday, the 28th of September. It's a scorcher of a day. And what am I gonna do today? No pussy footing around. I'm gonna go for the big one. The last video I did was where I glimpsed one of the ancient wonders of the world, the Acropolis in Athens. Glimpsed it from a distance. Today, I'm gonna go all out. I'm going up that hill. Okay, and it starts right here. There we go. Start off with some steps. Lovely environment, this. Very, very pleasant. By the way, I've got a couple of bottles of water here. Little bottles of water, but that's an essential one, of course. Very hot day. And it's a, it's a mighty climb ahead. We, Something Acropolis. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, it looks very, very nice. Looks very, very cozy. You never know, on the way down, I might stop off. This is it. Yeah. We'll be here waiting for you. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Right, so, I'm only a stone's throw away from the hotel where I'm staying. And this mighty climb begins now, okay? So there it is up there. I feel like I'm out of breath already. There you go. There is the walls of the citadel, the ancient citadel. Okay? And the walk begins here. It's up this way. So, <clears throat> I don't know how long it's gonna take me to walk up there. I'm not even sure what kind of queue that I'm gonna be standing in in order to get a ticket. I haven't actually booked online a ticket to visit the Acropolis. Not, not, well, I haven't because I've been having a few issues with Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to climb up there and turn up and hope for the best. Wow. I feel out of breath already, but I think, I'll, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. There you go. Lovely sight, an old Corvette Stingray, I believe. Wow, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I wonder how comfortable those cars in. I wonder is that as comfortable as my Ford Mondeo? It looks a lot better, but I don't know. I think my Ford Mondeo is still more suited to the potholes of, uh, and ditches of Britain's roads. Anyway, what do I want to talk about cars for? <coughs> I, I sampled a little bit of this route to the Acropolis yesterday, sampled it, and it looks like there's a lot of pathways involved here. So I think it's going to be a bit fun, this. I, like I say, I've got, I, I'm feeling in good spirits. I've got a couple of little bottles of water with me, essential of course, and I think this is going to be a cosy little walk. Here we go. I got a little bit further than here yesterday. Only arrived in Athens yesterday, so I wasn't really. I wasn't wasn't really in the mood to do any climbing. Oh look at him! There you go. I'm not pussyfooting around today. How are you, matey? <coughs> this little spot here seems to be a little photographer's uh, little haunt here. I've seen. A couple getting what looked like a wedding shot yesterday. Here we go. Must admit it's cozy. There you go. There's some people looking over the walls there. I don't know how long it's going to take me to walk this. Getting there is the difficult bit. Coming down, that's going. To, I'm pretty sure that's going to be easy. This is looking really, very, very Greek, very, very Mediterranean. And very, very cosy right now. So there's a little pathway which I noticed many, many people were missing yesterday. It is signposted with the word Acropolis. Okay? Well, there's one, one sign there, Acropolis this way. Now, this is how you get here. I think there is another way. I noticed, I mate. Now, I noticed most people were stopping. We're pass it, passing this pathway here and going up that way yesterday. Many people did not notice this sign here. So this here is the pathway 
to the Acropolis. So here we go. Well, it's kind of like a journey into the unknown. And you get the feeling you're going to end up in somebody's back garden. But it is actually quite good fun uh, doing a little route like this. And here's a nice view here over Athens. Wow, look at that. Ain't that spectacular? Well, now back to the rather confusing route. I've got a feeling it's not going to be so easy. Okay, so I'm not the only one who got confused. So many, you know, groups of people there were either walking in the wrong direction, not sure which was the right one, but, 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 I'm here now, okay? Look up there. That is the Acropolis up there, or part of it anyway. Okay, there it is up there. And I believe this is the, I don't know if this is the entrance or the exit, but I think this is where you buy a ticket up here. I'm here, I'm in the right place. Eureka, I have found it. Okay, now I might have to put this camera away, maybe they don't like you. Um, just stay here. Now I've been told there's lots of, lots of cues here, but okay. I'm just gonna point the camera up there and then switch the camera, because they might not like me filming. They may not like me filming. And I don't wanna tread on anyone's toes. Now look, this is 2021 now. 2021 September and I've been told that there's lots of queues and all this kind of stuff well it doesn't look like there's many queues here today the maybe this is a sign that the uh, the antivirus the pandemic is still is still very very much around so anyway I wish all airport queues were like this make life a lot easier anyway here I am now I'm gonna switch my camera off now out of respect Okay, so I've got my ticket, 20 euros, straight, straight forward, simply enough. And now I'm walking up these very, very precarious, slippy looking steps. I, I keep meaning to buy myself a new pair of training shoes with better grips on them. I keep meaning to, never get around to it. So you've got to watch your foot in here. Looks a bit precarious there. But anyway, here I am. I'm inside the, I won't say I'm inside the Acropolis, I'm inside the grounds of the Acropolis. I'm checking it up, checking the boo. And look at everything that awaits. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. That's the entrance, okay? So let's have a little Let's exit that way, I think. I don't think you're supposed to go this way. Oh wow, starting to get the wonders already. Magnificent. And don't forget, I have walked all the way up here, yes. I haven't been carried up here by a donkey the way you do in some places. I've seen some uh, historical sites where that happens. You get a donkey to carry it up a hill. No, my little, my chubby little legs have carried me all this way. Now how about this for the shot? How about this? At a first guess, I would say that that is some sort of amphitheater. Oh look, they've got like a, actually, actually I have a stage set up down there. Let's see if we can get a closer shot of that. What a spectacular setting. Looks like the perfect place for a rock concert there. Fantastic. I think you can actually go down that way. I think you can actually go down there. Oh, what the hell? Let's do it. So at this point, let's talk about famous sites. The world's most famous sites across the world. Have you seen many of them? Or are you really not interested in that sort of thing? Oh, surgical masks. The litter of 2021. Disgusting.
Yes, famous sites. You've seen lots of them in movies, books, documentaries. And you see these images and think, I'll have to go and see that one of these days. It's, it's on my bucket list. The fact is that some famous sites live up to expectations and some are really quite disappointing. An example of one that lives expect to expectations, the Eiffel Tower. That was the first famous sight that I've seen abroad. I've seen it in so many movies, from James Bond movies to Hollywood movies. And I have to say that that is a building that really does live up to expectations. It's got a fun element that other buildings simply don't have. Absolutely beautiful. Some other sites like the Christ in Rio, really, I mean, that's a, it's, it's, it's a wonderful location, but at the end of the day, it's only a statue when you get up there. So I don't like to use the word disappointing for that one. But at the end of the day, it's, it, it's, not, it's nice to see famous iconic images that you've grown up with. And at least you can say the next time you see it in a movie, I've been there and done that. I can see so many movies now where I've, I've, you know, I've, I've seen a famous site, Iguazu, uh, Waterfalls in Brazil, Argentina, Machu Picchu. And I'm glad that I've seen them. I think I've seen enough to last me a lifetime. But this one, the Acropolis of, of Athens, this is the one that, that's, uh, you know, has alluded to me for quite a while. So it's still to be here. Just watch your step. Very, very precarious ground there. So I'm quite excited by being here today. And of course, it's one to tick off on my bucket list anyway. On a lovely day like this, it's not a bad place to be. This here is the really, really good bit. Are you ready for this? Wow, oh, that ain't got the wow factor. 2,000 years of history there. Magnificent. Worth climbing all those steps for. Okay, well, there's some very, very precarious steps here. I wonder how far they date back. Are they the original ones? Possibly not. No, it's okay. Possibly not. How about this? Got to be a selfie shot here somewhere. Well, how about this one? I'm going to remove this bloody awful mask. I'm going to remove this mask. Get that mask in there with my water bottles. This is the Acropolis we're talking about here. 2,000 years of ancient Greek history. I don't want to be ruined by a surgical mask. So let's see. There we go. Is that a good shot? A good old selfie shot? Steady Eddie does the Acropolis. Wow, what a thrill. It is a real thrill to be here, you know. It really, really is a real thrill. I haven't seen it all just yet, but I'm starting to think that this is one of those legendary sites that, you know, like Machu Picchu, that's another one that lives up to expectations. I think this one is going to live up to expectations somehow. For 20 euros, it was worth coming here. There we go. Wow, if that ain't got the wow factor. Just look at that. Just look at that. I'm starting to like these selfie shots. Please be careful on these steps. I know I'm saying that, you know, you, you know, I must invest in a good pair of trainers with a proper grip one of these days. Keep getting around to doing that. My sandals here are far too slippy. Well, obviously this isn't the original. This is wooden. This obviously isn't the original Greek structure. Wow. It just gets better. It gets better. I went to 
a temple in Lindos in Greece. I think I'm right in saying that a lot of these columns are not the original structures. They may have been replaced many, many years later, but it doesn't take away the magic of it all. I'll tell you what, what's quite magical now. What is quite magical? Oh my God almighty. God almighty. I'm gonna show you something quite magical now. And it's not this over here, okay? A magical view in front of me here. I've seen this in documentaries, school books, uh, movies, all kinds of stuff. And now I'm here to see it with my own eyes. And yes, it is an absolute thrill to see. Are you ready for this? Oh my Lord. The Parthenon. Is it called the Parthenon? Is that the correct pronunciation of it? Wow, just look at that. What an iconic sight that is. Absolutely magnificent. Just look at it up there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I don't want to sound all namby-pamby or getting emotional here, but it really is quite quite special to be approaching something like this, getting so close to it. It really, really is. What an amazing, iconic image, if ever there was one. So I'm going to have a little walk over here. Wow, this, this looks very, very precarious here. Nice to see a little bit of cloud as well. I mean, you know, I've seen so many pure blue skies in uh, Greece up to, up to now. On my little travelling adventure. It's actually a bit refreshing, really, to see a little bit of cloud. Maybe that's putting the temperature down a couple of degrees. Now, I think the idea is to walk around that way. Obviously, they want everyone to walk in the same direction. Do you walk that way? Okay, well, I'm walking that way anyway. There you go, and there's another view of the city there. The city of Athens. I've yet to explore any of it. Only arrived there just over 24 hours ago. I'm going to go that way. Well, what, a, what an amazing place to be. It's already paid for its entrance ticket. You know, 20, 20 euros, that's, that, that's reasonably enough. No, no problem with that at all. I've seen some places where they do stitch up tourists. One of the places where they, I thought they really, really, really stitch people up. I was in a place, now I can't even remember what it was called. It was in Ethiopia. It was a famous, one of the most well-known places in Ethiopia where they have these church is made out of rock and you know, I forget the details of it but Ethiopia obviously is one of the world's poorest countries and <clears throat> yeah, I thought it'd help out doing a touristy thing uh, visiting these places and, except in order to visit these these churches made out of rock they wanted 50 US dollars 50 US dollars to see some rock churches which I think most people have never even heard of before. 50 US dollars. This is going back about seven or eight years, something like that. And I thought, what a con. What a con. 50 US dollars. I think there's something untoward about that. And yet, look what we can have here. For, tw for 20 euros. If that ain't worth 20 euros, just to stand there and look at that. Wow. Magnificent. The Parthenon. I actually think 2,000 years ago, all kinds of stuff was going on there. Governments, politics, people. It was used as a fortress at one time. I believe, I believe part of it was blown up. I think in the 18th century by the Venetians, you know, setting up gunpowder. Wonderful. Okay, so you've got all this, these porter cabins here, and you've got all the rocks here. It doesn't take away from the magic of the place. It really, really doesn't. It does not take away from the magic of the place at all. 
see now some of you may have seen another side to me today you didn't think this was my kind of uh, stuff did you well seen so many of the world's great sites now not all of them but as many as that I really really want to want to see I've seen the Colosseum in Rome the Vatican many many famous sites but this one here this one here I'm going to do a little bit of reading up on it surface conservation of the Acropolis monuments Okay, so I'm over the other side of the Parthenon. There is the, it there. That is a magnificent shot of it. Wonderful. And what I'm going to do now is walk over that way. This is the wall that you can see from, from the town below. This is the wall where everyone's looking over. There's the flag up there. Very, very rocky road here, so be careful. We're well, looking filthy water bottle there, it's all right, isn't it? Okay, that's another fantastic shot over there. And I'm over here. And now I'm going to go to the place where everyone seems to want to go to. I'm going to go to the summit. I'm going to go all the way to the top. There we go, I'm going to do a <coughs> panoramic shot now. Wonderful sight there. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, but it's time for another selfie. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't resist that one. The sunlight's on it now. Okay, so panoramic shot. There is the wonderful image, the Parthenon there, the Acropolis. Wow, and look at this around the town. Look at this. Wonderful. Okay, so this has been a wonderful experience to be up here. This is one of the world's legendary sites that really, really does live up to expectations. I'm thrilled to come here. And it's, it's been fantastic. How do I feel personally after walking up those, all those steps and, and everything? Well, as, as long as you don't slip, you should be all right. It's, um, it takes a bit out of it, but you, you, do, you, do, all right. you do, you really, really do need to bring a couple of bottles of water with you. Once I drank my first little bottle of water, it really did make all the difference. But uh, fantastic, just look at this. I do a shot around here absolutely wonderful if this isn't worth making the effort now of course this is a unesco world heritage site i think that goes without saying is it one of the seven wonders of the world well there's always a bit of vagueness about that i remember a radio show once where people were discussing the seven wonders of the world people were phoning in and coming up with their own opinions of what were the seven wonders of the world and by the end of the show, they had 18 of them. 18 <laughs> wonders of the world. Uh, so there's always a bit of debate about which classes is the seven wonders of the world. I'm not really so sure about that. The natural ancient wonders of the world. As far as I know, the only one that still survives is the pyramids in Egypt. And I've never been to that one, by the way. I almost did, but you know, there's some terrorist groups stepped in and massacred many, many people at the Temple of Luxor. So uh, they canceled my flight. But anyway, I'm getting off the point here. So how does it feel to actually stand there in this minute? Forget about wonders of the world and all that kind of stuff. You're talking about 2,000 years of ancient history here. And it is a thrill to be amongst all this, knowing that it's still here. You can still see, obviously, not all of it. And some of it has been a little bit modified over the years. You know, there is, you know it's, it's not all original. Some of these columns uh, were, were actually... Uh, yeah, you know, done up, re renovated many years later. So it's probably not all original. But just look at it. Absolutely magnificent. All those Hollywood movies that I've seen as a child, all those documentaries. Oh my God almighty. To actually be in a wonderful place like this. I mean, all of a sudden I feel like I'm 
I feel like I'm 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 Kirk Douglas. I'm Kirk Douglas right now. I'm Charlton Heston. I feel like I'm Charlton Heston standing here amongst all of this. Tony Curtis, Kirk Douglas, Charlton Heston, all of, all of those legendary Hollywood actors would, would have been at home in, a, in, a, in an environment like this. I'm, I'm Kirk Douglas, I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus, and so are you Spartacus, and so is my 20 stone wife, she's, she's Spartacus as well. I'm thrilled to be here, I'm filled with emotion, it's so wonderful. I'm just glad that the world still takes the time and the effort to preserve places like this so you and I can come and come and enjoy them. And now having climbed all this way, I feel physically good. I feel really, really good right now. It was a hell of a climb. I was but I, I brought my water so I don't feel dehydrated or anything. I'm at the Acropolis. This is another one of those places which I've ticked off on my bucket list and I would actually rate it higher than some of the other ones that I've seen. There are other ones I've seen which don't live up to this, but this is wonderful. And I'm glad that I can share it with you, my friends. I really, really am glad, okay? So, I'm gonna have the great pleasure now of walking down the, the steps again, walking down the hills. That's the easy bit. And I'm gonna grab myself a cold beer and something to eat, because I think I've earned it. And after all of that, my friends, what else can I say? I, I'm lost for words, I'm speechless, I can't say any more. So cute the music.